How do you see the role of CHP in the future with more renewable energy? I see CHP continuing to play a really strong role in a future with, with more renewable energy. Um, when, when more end uses are electrified, uh, CHP can, can bring a lot of long-term benefits and um, still have some really important high-value applications. And I, I think about them in kind of four ways. Surely there are a lot more ways, but one of them is at industrial facilities uh, where we know um, manufacturers have need for high temperature process heat that, that's difficult to, to get um, from an electrified uh, resource. Um, and, and whether CHP is, is fueled by by biogas, um, renewable natural gas, or hydrogen, or plain old natural gas, um, in the in those industrial applications in the future, the the steam will the thermal need is is still really important. Another really high value application is at critical infrastructure for resilience. Um, CHP can deliver the sort of long term like multi day outage um, uh, benefits that other technologies. Um, may not be able to, to provide today. Um, so it provides kind of an insurance policy for critical facilities that need to keep communities safe um, uh, during outages or, or other emergencies. A third bucket or really high value application is um, uh, CHP when it's paired with renewable technologies and, and I think we'll see um, a, a lot more of that in the future. We've, we've seen some of it with microgrids but we see the market really developing um, to, to provide CHP plus PV plus storage solutions. Um, and a fourth big bucket is, is CHP that is fueled by renewable energy. Um, we think that'll deliver a lot of benefits in, in the long term. About 15% of existing CHP capacity is, is biofueled, and, and we think there's a lot of opportunity for, for more of that in the future. And how do you see incentive programs evolving? How are things changing? Yeah, so I think that incentive programs will evolve to really focus in on those targeted applications um, uh, of CHP that, that I kind of just described. So I think we'll, um, we'll see CHP programs, well, we'll see new programs maybe focus less on specific technologies like CHP and maybe have a broader focus on how do we achieve resilience objectives. Um, we saw a lot of Northeast states developing microgrid programs after Sandy and, and that's kind of a good example of, of programs evolving and changing as policy objectives uh, evolve. And so a greater emphasis on resilience I think is something programs might start to do. I think um, program administrators might start to think uh, how can we pair CHP with with PV and storage so that we can meet our critical loads um, with the least amount of fossil fuel use possible? How can we help um, CHP developers get connected with uh, developers of solar and storage um, so that they can work together and, and build more integrated solutions? And, and then lastly, how can we encourage more renewable fueled CHP? So I think um, programs are going to evolve to really focus in and narrow in on, on the objectives um, that, that policymakers are, are looking to achieve.